Hey all, welcome back to my home, or welcome if it's your first time here. My name is Kelly Ann, and today we are going to be doing some serious cleaning. My mom had my toddler, so I was able to clean all day and get a lot done. But we are going to start out in the girls' room. This is the cat's room. One of these days, I'm going to get rid of this bed and put a sofa in here so I can transition this to be more of a playroom for Drew. But I'm just trying to make this bed and now I'm going to vacuum these floors. I have to stay on top of the vacuuming in here or else the cat hair just becomes insane. You'll see how much cat hair I was able to vacuum up if you look in the canister. But yeah, this room collects so much cat hair and then we recently were out of town so I had a second litter box in here and they got that litter everywhere. So I'm just going to go ahead and vacuum that up as well. I'm also going to go ahead and clean the guest bathroom or maybe I should just call this Drew's bathroom although my husband takes a ton of baths so this is probably best labeled Bill's bathroom. I have been keeping on top or staying on top of keeping this bathroom clean and I absolutely love this like OxyClean or whatever spray. You just spray it on and when it turns white you know it's time to scrub it off and I just find that it's easier to use a sponge on my countertops instead of using paper towels to just spray something on there and wipe it off and I think it also saves paper towels although you do have to use paper towels to dry it off but while my mom had my son I was able to get so much done it's always like the best treat when she keeps him overnight because I'm able to go shopping by myself which is just such a treat I went to TJ Maxx and I spent over an hour in there just looking around that's where I got this little heart sweatshirt. I think it's super cute and I'm not just going to wear it around Valentine's Day. I think I'll be able to wear it throughout the year as well. But now I'm just doing a cute little heart on the mirror. I'm getting better with my graffiti designs when I spray the sprayway cleaner. But yeah, I'm just going to wipe off this mirror and then finish cleaning the bathroom. We were also able to get in a couple of date nights while my mom watched Drew. We used to love going to this Mexican restaurant, but they converted it to a Brazilian steakhouse, so we went ahead and tried it. Bill absolutely loved it. A Brazilian steakhouse is like they bring just big cuts of meat around to your table and cut it for you. But I had watched that video, Bridesmaids, and you know, the scene where they get horrible stomach pains. They had gone to like one of those Brazilian steakhouses and got food poisoning from the meat. So I had that in the back of my head. So I think that sort of stopped me from enjoying it as much as I could. But they had the best pineapple I've ever had. It was like grilled pineapple with cinnamon on it. And when I got home, I looked up like Brazilian cinnamon pineapple and found a similar recipe that I could do in the oven and I fixed that today and it was so good. You just put some brown sugar and some cinnamon in a Ziploc bag with your pineapple, shake it up and then you bake it for like 20 minutes and mm, it is so good. But as you can see, I still had Christmas decor up here in our hallway just cluttering it. So I'm gonna go ahead and put those up and I am storing some of our Christmas decor in our laundry room. I did do a laundry room make over not too long ago to make space for our Christmas decorations like I'm just the worst I'll take down decor and then I'll just sit there in the boxes and I've actually never wiped off this hallway mirror believe it or not I always forget that it's here so you will see just how dirty it was
of the traveling kind It's a known fact Yeah, I know that So I am about to put our Christmas tree or the Christmas tree that was in our bedroom back up in the attic and I was so surprised that I was able to do this by myself. I always get paranoid climbing up this ladder and I try to be super careful because I am home alone and if something were to happen I'd probably be laying there for hours until Bill got home. But now our Christmas tree is back up there and we're moving along to our master bathroom and I am going to show y'all a new cleaning hack that I learned in a little bit. I learned it off of Instagram. I've been watching some like Instagram cleaning reels to figure out some new cleaning hacks and get some motivation. But we are just going to declutter our, our, not kitchen, our bathroom counter. And ever since I got this little clear acrylic organizer thing, I know it looks like I took a lot of stuff off our counter, but it has been so much more organized in here. And once again, I'm just using the OxyClean Kaboom Cleaner to wipe off these counters. The sponge method is the best at being able to remove like hair off the countertops like whenever Bill shaves their hair gets everywhere so I just find that the sponge just is so much easier because I was always using so many paper towels trying to get all of his beard trimmings up and since our counters were so wet now I am just going to use a couple of dry washcloths to get all the water and everything off of there and get it all dry again and after I do that I'm gonna move along and clean our mirror I do not know what is up with this mirror in this bathroom I don't do my hair up here so I'm not spraying products and it's not getting on the mirror I don't know what the film is that's on this mirror but I always have to spray it twice to get like the streaks to go away there's just some kind of residue on this mirror that I can't get off why can't you just tell me I just want to be your bride want to be so here is my new cleaning hack all you do is get one of those sponges that has the little handle that can hold soap and you fill it half up with Dawn soap and then half up with vinegar, give it a shake. I actually accidentally used too much Dawn, but once the vinegar got down in there, it lathered up nicely. And this is my new favorite way to clean the shower. It just makes it so much easier and it gets all the soap scum off our glass doors and the little frame thing was looking sparkling once I was done with this and I'm actually just going to keep this little brush thing in our shower so whenever I take a shower I can just go ahead and clean it while I'm in there because I despise cleaning the shower. I just think it's the hardest thing to clean and as you see I have not cleaned our shower in a long time although I'm the only one that uses the shower and it doesn't get used every day on the shower. Well, I bathe every day, but I only wash my hair every other day. So that's why we had some nastiness in here is because it's just been so long since I cleaned and I was surprised I didn't have to use like any elbow grease to get any of this nastiness up. Typically, I have to sit there and scrub and scrub and scrub. I've even used like a drill attachment before to try to get everything clean in here. But with the Dawn dish soap and the vinegar, it just comes right up. And then I didn't clean the towels, but the next day when I took a shower, not the towels, the tiles, <laughs> the next day I ended up cleaning the tiles while I was taking a shower. You, while you're going on about your simple life. Nothing left you thinking that maybe you're not different.
Poor Sprinkles is just trying to relax and I'm over here kicking her off the bed. She loves to lay on our bed. It's her favorite spot unless she's downstairs with me watching whatever I'm doing. But I'm just gonna make our bed. It's not sheet washing day so I'm not gonna strip down the bed. Plus I had to go and meet my mom halfway to pick up Drew so I was on a time crunch so I'm just gonna make the bed today and pick up some of the clothes that are on our bedroom floor our bedroom floor is just our laundry hamper we are the worst at putting clothes in the actual laundry hamper so that's why there are always clothes on the ground at our house So as many of you know, my husband is a real estate agent and he actually does have to travel for work sometimes. He goes to these convention type things or, or he goes and actually like speaks to people and travels different cities. So in February, he is I think traveling like twice. So my plan is to surprise him with a closet makeover when he goes out of town next, like towards the end of February, he's going to be going out of town for I think five days for his companies like they call it their family reunion so when he's gone I think I'm gonna go ahead and reorganize our closet he's been asking to do it but I sort of want to just do it by myself and I did get him a lot of closet organizing stuff for Christmas I'm gonna to put together so hopefully I will be able to pull that off unless he insists on doing it before he goes out of town but we will see now I'm just tidying up our living room. Our living room stays so much tidier when Drew isn't here. Obviously, there's still toys that he had been playing with. He's always taken apart his little potty training toilet. But I'm just going to put away some of our groceries that I never put away. I just left them on the counter being lazy. But I'm going to go ahead and take care of that. Man, you're looking good tonight. I wanna kiss you before the sun goes down It's what you're doing Making me feel like I'm falling And when you're moving I can hear my calling There's no one else here that I see but you It's what you're doing It's making me feel like I'm falling Yeah, I'm falling in love I was able to go to Trader Joe's as well and they gave me two boxes of truffles for free which I was so excited about. If y'all have not tried their truffles, they are really good. It's just my sweet treat for the moment. I've just been on a chocolate kick. Usually I'm like a hard candy kind of person. I also got the Werther's Original Caramels to channel my inner old lady. But we're just gonna keep on cleaning the kitchen. It's what you do still have a lot of decor that I need to put up that I purchased for Easter and St. Patrick's Day. I desperately need to address our garage soon. Our garage, we still need to put our like Christmas tree back up on the shelf and just make room for all my decor because I can't have it be cluttering our house. So I'm definitely going to do that soon as long as it's a warm day because I don't want to be in there freezing my butt off in our garage. 
But now I'm just gonna go ahead and unload our dishwasher because we have a sink full of dishes. Bill and I are also the worst about leaving cups and glasses on our bedside table. So earlier I did go ahead and bring all those down so you will see just how many had been collected upstairs. So after I finish up with the dishes, I'm gonna go ahead and go to meet my mom and pick up Drew. And when we are back, we are gonna fix a nice simple dinner. We are gonna be making a Greek lemon chicken soup. This is a recipe that I got from my mom. I had it when I was in Charleston and I thought it was so good and it's such a simple recipe. What I did first is I boiled some water because I am going to have to cook some chicken and then for the soup I added two cartons of chicken broth to a pot and you bring it to a boil and at the same time my water came to a boil for my chicken so I'm going to go ahead and put that in there and then you need six lemons you just have to juice them so that is what I'm doing here and then after I do that, I am going to crack a couple of eggs and beat them. And then once those are nice and beat, you add your lemon juice to it and mix it up really well. And we aren't gonna add the mixture straight to the pot. What we have to do is we have to actually temper it. So to do that, you just get a couple ladlefuls of the broth and you add it in there slowly and that is so the um, eggs aren't going to scramble but also once your chicken is cooked you drain it and then just shred it and i'm just doing that by using two forks but i will post the full recipe down in the description. I don't know where my mom got this recipe, but I promise you it is so good. And also you serve it with rice and I'm not the kind of person who can easily make rice. So I just use like the instant rice. And y'all, this is such a good soup, like especially if you aren't feeling well or if it's a rainy day, it is so good. So definitely give it a try. The soup is seriously so good, plus it's healthy, so I feel good eating it. I've been trying to make healthier choices since the new year. That's one of my new year's resolutions is to eat healthier and to cook more at home. So that's exactly what I'm doing here. I hope you enjoyed this video and cleaning along with me today. I hope you have a fantastic day and I will see you in the next video.